CPPV. Today is an interesting day. I don't normally film on uh, my work week, but couldn't miss this. Uh, doing something that I thought I would never do, but uh, the thing that makes it more realistic is I'm not buying this thing. I'm more like acquiring this thing, and so I feel like when you can, when you acquire something, uh, you can put some of your biases aside. So um, we'll see what I mean in just a minute. Uh, we definitely needed this rain, but it's not fun working in the rain too much. Alright, here it is in all its glory. It might actually fire. We'll see in just a minute. But yeah. Getting a Ford. Never thought I'd say that. Well, it's been a few days since uh, brought the the old Ford home. Yeah, got a Ford. Can you believe that? Um, but uh, anyway, we're ready to start uh, trying to figure this thing out. So it'll start, but it won't idle pretty much. And uh, we're thinking it's a fuel issue. And I'm thinking the previous owner thought it was a fuel issue as well. Uh, it's hard to see in here, but there's a new fuel pump in behind the shield. The fuel filter looks replaced. Whoa! And the fuel pump relay has been replaced. So they were chasing it down. Talked this over with Alex, and uh, we're thinking fuel pressure regulator. Um, so we're going to replace that right now. Um, so hopefully we can drive it off the trailer. That would be awesome. So also Got a name for the guy Ford Nan It's gonna be the DPV farm truck the farm truck for the Han homestead So start another channel that's uh, gonna be talking about you know stuff around the property and whatnot um, So if you're interested in that I'll link that channel right up here um but we'll also be doing some build stuff on here. If uh, if I can get it to run good, I'm thinking about using this uh, bed for my little two-wheel trailer um, and flatbedding this, building the bumper, maybe getting a plow for it so I can keep Clyde looking nice um, and just beat up the Ford. So uh, let's uh, get this fuel pressure regulator swapped out. All right, probably can't see it in there. Right there you can see that wire, or it's a vacuum line it attaches to it. You kind of see it, uh, see if I can point to it, right above my finger underneath that line. That's where the fuel pressure re regulator is. My understanding is just three Allen screws on the bottom, um, and then hook that, unhook that uh, vacuum line. So I'll swap that out, and we'll see if that fixes the problem. All right, let's see if uh, this little guy was the culprit. Got her all swapped out. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt. Like, I got big hands. Not a lot of room back there. But, uh, hey. <sighs> we'll see. It's got this sweet situation where that rod is like bent and loose or something. 
don't think it'd be that hard to figure out, but I'm gonna have to take apart the dash, whatever. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Sit you down for a second. Well, to be continued. Didn't work. Now it won't even fire, so I don't know what the deal is. Um and I don't really have time to mess with it right now. All right, well, I disconnected the fuel line after the fuel pump right in front of the filter and there's no fuel. So the fuel pump's not turning on at all. Could be that relay. Uh, it looks like it's been replaced, but it is just a cheapy looking one. So um, probably start there. Might pick up a fuel, fuel pump anyway, because if it was pushing up against a bad regulator, I suppose that could um, wear it out. And if they bought the cheapest one, then um, could be an issue there too. So, to be continued on Ford and Ann. We gotta get this thing dropped off the trailer. Got another project where I need the trailer, so uh, we'll stop back by with Ford and Ann in a little bit. Um, might be a few days, but... Uh, yeah, see ya in a few days. All right, I found a few more minutes. I keep doing that somehow. Um, but I uh, wanted to test if the relay was actually bad. And Alex gave me this idea over the phone to just hotwire the pump. Now the pump's working. We're gonna try to fire it up. So I'll turn the pump on. And I'll sit you down. And there's something wrong with the ignition switch. So, I'm gonna have to deal with the screwdriver. Oh, it's in gear. So back on Ford and Ann here, um, fuel pressure regulator didn't work, but it could have been bad. Um, my thought is, no beef, no. My thought is the fuel pressure regulator was bad and it may have caused the pump to fail because the pump was pushing up against a failed regulator and making it work too hard. Um, so uh but first we're gonna i got this funky wiring set up might have already showed you i can't remember but we're gonna plug that in that's hot wired to the pump that's in there um and i'm gonna disconnect the line to see if uh we're actually getting flow because i can hear it running uh, also bypass the fuel pump relay i know that the pump was running since i've had this truck so that means the relay either just failed, which could be because the pump's working too hard. I don't know. So, new pressure regulator. We're going to see if we're getting any flow right now. And then I got a new pump, new filter, and a new relay. So hopefully we can get this thing running and uh, go play around a little bit. All right, so we're not really getting any flow at all from the pump, even though it's running. So 
pumps are definitely bad. Um, so I'm gonna replace the pump, replace the uh, fuel filter and the relay, and hopefully we'll have a running truck. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go grab our parts. We got our relay. Fuel pump, filter. So I'll make sure I link these part numbers down below. Um, but let's get after here. Got this sweet shop and I'm uh, out there wrenching in the field. How does this happen? All right, got the pump out. All of the fuel lines on this thing have these little clips that are fairly easy. Just kind of put a screwdriver in right in there and then pry them out. And then that allows it to, you know, slide off. See that clip wraps around this side of this collar so it can't slide off. So anyway, all of them are just like that. It's pretty easy. All right, so I got to take this back to the shop. See, it's got these studs here, and I got spade connectors, but it came with these little guys. So I'm just going to bolt those on and bend them out. And then it came with new clips, so that's good. And the other thing is, is the inlet, I need to put this on, because this is the wrong fitting. This is just for, like, standard hose. But this is for the fittings that are on there. So we'll take this back to the bench, hook those up, All right, that's what the o-ring is for there's an o-ring inside this guy it's not inside of that one a little lube on it Alright, got it pressed back in the little bracket here. It came with new padding, so just want to make sure you put the new padding in. The old padding's where to go. Yeah, see that's all super smashed and not providing much cushion. So new padding should be pretty good. Uh got the fuel line hooked up, so there's not a lot of room under there to film, so I'll get this mounted up, and then we'll move on to the fuel filter. All right, fuel pump is in. I do you want to show you one thing? So there's there's three bolts that hold this bracket on, and so two down here and one up top. And with that foam insert, that padding, it really like kind of spreads out that bracket, uh, and making it so the bolt holes don't line up. So what I did, I took this. Uh, Irwin clamp bottom of the frame rail top of the bracket with the bottom bolts in squeezed it down and then I kind of had to pry the bracket by hand to line up that top bolt hole but I squeezed the the bracket with this Irwin clamp and it worked pretty good sweet it came with new clips too right on all right, relay time, and uh, dang it, made in China. Oh well. Swap that bad boy out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully got a running truck. There's something wrong with that ignition switch. What is going on here? There's something. All right, so uh, got all hooked up and fuel pump's still not turning on and it won't turn over from the ignition switch. It only turns over from bumping it 
on the uh, starter solenoid. So, um, and you can see the previous owner, they really jacked up this rod here. I, I don't know, I think obviously that uh, ignition switch was wore out. So we're going to go pick up a new ignition switch, swap that out, and see what that does for us. All right, let's see if this does the trick. I do want to show you how I got there. Uh, so there's a piece of plastic here, a piece of plastic there. Um, you pull off the driver's side first. It just pops off. There's just little clips. So you just gently pop it off. Um, I unscrewed the fuel tank switch. Then the other plastic, it uh, was there. And it had one screw right there. So undid that. Then there's two bolts that go um, into the steering column. These guys right here. So pull those down or pull those out, drop the column down, and then there's two uh, 10 millimeter, no, 11 millimeter nuts. Uh, that hold the ignition switch. So you can pull that off. And we'll just pop those wires off and uh, swap the switch out. I'll test it with it down. Um, and then if it works, I'll hook it back up. I'm not going to worry about replacing this rod right now because it's not, I think it would be easier to, you know, use this rod with some pliers for now versus using a screwdriver on the ignition switch. Not ideal, but I don't really want to tear into this right now to get this out and replace it. Plus, this is probably a pull and save item. So, anyway, uh, I'll get that swapped out and see if we got a runner. Alright, check out this sweet setup. Not getting any fuel to the pump. So, we're either out of gas, which would be hilarious, or... The in-tank pumps are not pumping due to them being bad or another relay or something. So we're going to try this out, see if we can get that pump to suck some fuel. All What's going on here? <sighs> All right, got the uh, EEC relay. We will see if uh, this works. It's kind of the last thing I have time for on this video. So cross my fingers that this is it. This is what makes this thing a runner. Um, we shall see in just a moment here. Already got it unplugged. So, uh, let's see, if this does it here. Well, dang it, didn't work. Uh, gonna need your help on this one. So, 89 FT50 with the 351 dual tanks. I have replaced the fuel pump, fuel filter, the fuel pump relay, the EEC relay. Um, I tried bypassing the fuel pump inertia switch. Seems like the fuel selector switch is working uh, because I am getting power to the high pressure pump. I can hear it turn on, but the in tank pumps are not turning on on either tank. So I don't think it's necessarily the pump, the pumps, because why would they both go out at the same time? There's something wrong with them not. They're not getting power. Maybe it's just dirty. I don't know, but. Uh, Anyway, I don't want to mess with this thing too much. This is not supposed to be like a huge uh, derailment from the other projects. 
but it was a free truck. So anyway, what should I do next on this thing? What I could get, you know, one of those uh, Mr. Gasket micro pumps to prime the other pump out of like a boat fuel cell or something. See if I can get it to run that way. <sighs> anyway, Fordnan, let me down, but you're living up to the Ford name found on Rudd Dead. Uh, that's all I got for you. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.